so nice. Back in to the Maxton Athletic Center. We have the Berman Cougars facing off against the MTA Lions. I'm Yoshua Siegel, joined by the one and only Marvin Azrak. Marvin, how you doing this afternoon, really, tonight? I'm doing great. Ready to get this last game in on this Sarah Check Sunday. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been quite a day. We're at the last game of the night. Uh, what can you tell us about these two teams? What's their style? What can we expect to see from the Cougars and Lions today? Yeah, you have one team that loves to play fast, and that's Berman. Another team that loves to slow the, play, slow the pace down. And that's MTA, so it's going to be interesting to see how these two teams match up against each other on this iconic court. And give me a couple uh, players to look out for. Who's, uh, who's going to be under the spotlight tonight? Well, for Berman, that's easy. It's sophomore sensation Alex August. This kid has already hit 1,000 points in his high school career. Uh, he's, he's been lighting up for Berman so far in this tournament. And then on the, you know, on the flip side, you have uh, Josh Trehoff for uh, MTA. They, uh, they're going to look to feed him inside early and often. So it's going to be interesting to see how both defenses adapt to the per, uh, perimeter and, and interior play. Well, there you have it on the NCSY Summer, NCSY Summer, best summer ever pregame show. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Cougars and Lions coming up next right after this. Dance. The, the maturity level is there. They're locked in the whole time, so it, it's, it's a really good environment to get better. Arna Cohen didn't look at anyone but himself. Well, the best part about this is seeing these kids, how badly they want, how much better, how badly they want to get better. The older kids are realizing, like, if you want to play at a high level, you got to really work. Hashem gives us six days of the week to say, work your butt off, and then I'm going to give you a day to rest. So until then, we're going to bust our butt and deserve and earn our job. So we can focus, lock in. Let's go. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. For the alley for Terrell! Oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. And welcome back in to the Max Stern Athletic Center. Yoshua Siegel joined by the one and only Marvin Azrak. We have the free, we have the Berman Cougars, not the first Cougars, the Berman Cougars taking on the MTA Lions. The last night, the last game of a very, very long Sunday. The 16th seeded Lions, the 12th seeded Cougars. It's going to be a great matchup. Packed house tonight, really packed house. Hard to get a seat. Get here quick. Get here quick. If you want a seat, get over here. Marvin, how you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, I've been I've, I've been fortunate to already call two games today. Uh, one of which was the buzzer beater by uh, Ben Friedland for Cooper, who completed their uh, Mactastic miracle today against the Kushner Cobras. I like that. The Mac Mactastic, love that. The starting lineups are sponsored by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure you visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. Check them out. Always a uh, always a popping website. You don't want to you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss out on the Yeshiva University experience. That is for certain. Starting for the Cougars. Let's check it out. We got Alex August, a name to keep your eye on. We got number twelve. That'll be Itai Rosemarin. Number twenty-one, Shmoli Levidian. Number five, Naftali Fischler, and number thirteen. Gabriel Margulies on the MTA side. We're looking at Daniel Barron, number 21, Aaron Sable, number 22, excuse me, it's number 23, Mikey Eliashev. And tip one by the Yeshiva University High School MTA Lions. You should see how Berman comes out here defensively against these guys. Swinging around, it's a missed three for Daniel Barron, rebounded by Berman. MTA loves to 
Well, there we go. Quick steal already, and now they're going to come back up. Yeah, that's, that's Sable taking it away as he gets it back right now. Top of the key to the corner. That's Barron. And taken away by Berman. A couple early steals. That one was Naftali Fischler. Three off the mark for Fischler and rebounded by Big Man. Leviathan. Strong take at Sable. Still no points here over a minute into the game. Yeah, both these teams are coming out with adrenaline here on this Sunday night. Both of them actually played late last night. Going up, no good. That was Margulies. And they're both coming off disappointing tier two losses. And so now your consolation are looking to rebound. And for Berman, they're looking to win their first game in the tournament. Yeah, that was Sable, the 5'11 senior, strong drive. You know, I don't want to criticize anyone, but uh, the, the heights on the uh, on the scouting report always, uh, listen, I'm not saying he's not 5'11, I'm, I'm just saying I think the uh, I think the athletes fill it out themselves. So you know what happens when uh, when the athletes fill it out themselves. Let's just say uh, I was standing next to someone who was 6'5, and as a 6'1 person, I was, uh, I think I was pretty, I think I was taller than him. <laughs> but with that being said, doesn't matter. That's Margulies' long outlet to August, and he gives the Cougars the first point of the evening. And there you go. And they love to get out in transition. They love to run and gun. You're going to see that for most of the night from these Berman Cougars. Why you, excuse me, MTA able to break the press. It's Barron taking it strong and a foul on Berman. Yeah, I'll tell you, I keep... Uh, it's like old time sake. Akiva Poppers to my left. I keep uh, referencing Yeshiva University. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's been listen. It's been a couple of years, but uh, it's great to see at least the you know the YU High School uh, getting a chance in the Max Stern Athletic Center. Uh, big boy play. That was Leviaden. No good. And now the Cougars control. Top of the key. It's a three for Rosemary. No good. <laughs> Another offensive board for the Cougars. Top of the key, thinks about it again. To the corner, no scoop layup, no good. And taken by Barron. Love to see when MTA is going to try and slow things down a little bit here. Maybe not play to this Berman transition game. Another Berman steal, make it four. As a big scramble on the floor ends up in the hands of Alex August. Thinks about the three, he'll pull the trigger, no good. But taking another offensive board, goes back up, no good again. Cougars all over the glass, but nowhere to be found on the putbacks. My God, it has been messy. An early, an early messy couple of minutes here. Ah, you said it. You said it indeed. It's been, it's been a track meet more than a basketball game. That's for, listen, it's late at night. Maybe they just, uh, maybe they're ready to get home. Oh. I, I mean, that's what they're telling us. I don't know <laughs> what, uh, yeah. Well, MTA is home. Just more sloppy Currently. play. They at least got a foul on the Cougars there. That'll be the third team foul on Berman. Something to keep an eye on early. Yeah. Yeah, you have these back and you have these, if you're going to play running gun basketball, the only thing that's going to slow it down, if you're not going to slow it down yourselves, are fouls. And when you have star players, they, they risk getting, it risks them getting into early foul trouble. That for sure, that for sure. Down low. That's Leviathan. Tries to get empty on the board and no can do. Margulies, top of the key, three, rims out, offensive board. That's Fischler cleaning up the mess underneath. Uh, that's a beautiful job by Fischler there on the glass. Berman's been dominating that area of the game early. Yeah, Berman right back in the press. Could empty a break, and no, they can't take it away. Up and under, and the layup goes for Rosemary. And timeout, MTA. A quick couple of points in the early going here. A shutout. The Berman Cougars pitching a shutout. And we'll send it to commercial break. Get ready for five days of some of the best basketball of your life at the second annual year of the Ready to Ball League camp. Join us in Teaneck, New Jersey at the end of June or in the five towns at the end of August. We're going to have Ryan Terrell be our head trainer for the second straight year alongside other amazing coaches and featured athletes like McDonald's All-American Dylan Harper. Use the promo code SARACHECK25 to get $25 off your registration and I look forward to seeing you this upcoming summer. Get MTA 
FCSY Summer is the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teams across the world. With over 20 plus programs spanning the US, Israel, and Europe, FCSY Summer can find something for you. Back to the action, MTA looking to break it again, and oh boy, it is tough going early for MTA as they turn it over again, Cougar basketball. Yeah, this has been a trouble for him. This has been troubling for MTA to break the Berman press, but it's it's not unusual for Berman to do this, especially early in the game. We saw it against TMEC. Wait a minute, we saw it. We saw it against DRS for long stretches last night. They're going. They're go, they're going to pressure you at every Cougar, end of the court. Cougars offensive rebound. Margulies the triple, no good, and rebounded by Eliashev. Elishaev, excuse me. Down low, first point for MTA. Yes, sir. That's Shmui, that's Shmui, Livianin, and one going to the line, trying to convert the three-point play. Finally, a roar from the home crowd. They needed, they needed those points to find something to cheer about. Well, they've made the effort to come here late on this Sunday night. Turning with a pack day of basketball here, at the Max Jordan Athletic Center. They've come to see as a victory from their heroes. Yeah, quick correction, that was Truhoft. Truhoft talked to the start at the top of the show. It's a key player to watch for MTA. Makes his, makes his early mark on the game, so. And gets yeah. his team going. That's doing his job defensively as well underneath in the low block. But now another three from the Cougars. Rims out and hauled in by the lights. No, taken away by the Cougars. Underhand scoop. Layup goes for Itai Rose Marin. Eight three. Berman leads. Three and a half to play. It's, oh, no look feed! And going to the line for two shots with Benjamin Scheinfeld. MTA is finally getting the ball across midcourt, something they couldn't do about a minute ago. So step by step here for them. A lot of game left. First free throw goes down for Scheinfeld. They can, uh, they can, uh, they were probably a little stunted by the press and first couple minutes of this game, but if they can able to, they, once they settle in, they'll, be, they'll have the opportunity to create the looks they want on the offensive end. And as you just saw, I mean, you see what kind of press they're putting on. Our amazing production team doing the amazing job, incredible work that they do. 8-4, Berman, 3.15 to go in this first quarter. A little give and go action. Cross to the opposite elbow, big drive, and we got a foul on the ground as Rosemary took it to the lane. Love that, love that attack though by Rosemary. Uh, he's not afraid to go at these uh, these big men. And Berman, this is not the biggest team that they faced. They have faced back in in South Beach uh, team that had some six eight guys, so they know how to play against big teams. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's not. You want to know why life's not fair? Come tomorrow, oh, a big three goes down for the Cougars. That's Leviathan as they go up 11-4. I'll tell you what's not fair. Tomorrow night, Saracic ends. Berman's got to go four and a half hours back home. You know what MTA does? They walk back across the street. <laughs> I mean, talk about life's not fair. Life's not fair. You could say life's not fair. You can look at it that way. You can look at it that this is what uh, this was a great bonding. Experience. You could say road trip with the boys. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's how I look at it. For these guys. I hear that. You're saying, oh, that's a three-point goal. That's Daniel Barron who cuts Berman's lead to just four. Yeah, what I'm saying is these a lot of these teams had out of, the, out of town teams had a Shabbat together. They enjoyed it very much in the hotel. It's a great bonding experience. Something you'll never forget. Listen, I hear you. I'm not. Uh, it's Ellie Titlebaum. I'm not disagreeing. All I'm saying is, you know, nothing right. like a good road trip, but also like nothing walking 30 seconds home after the game's over. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. For Berman, though, they want to get on a plane, knowing they got a victory out of this tournament. They get have on a plane. They get on a plane. You think they flew here? How many teams flew here? Great trivia question. <laughs> California for sure. What about like Cooper? Like Cooper could drive. They probably flew though. They probably flew. 
Are there any teams in between? Ida Crown. Like, Ida Crown could have driven. If they wanted to take a road trip with the boys, like, that's the opportunity to. We need to know, did Ida Crown drive or fly? That is the question of the evening. What is it, saying in the... Oh, did the Montreal Heat even better? Thank you, Aaron Traurig. Did the Montreal Heat fly or drive? That's the question we want to know. There's no way they, they drove from Florida, the Orha Tower Thunder. There's just no way. That, I'm sorry. Montreal and Ida Crown, that's what we want to know. Text in. Tag us on Instagram. Tag us on Twitter. Let us know. Oh, another great question. I keep up, This is why I keep a poppers. I keep a poppers. In the <laughs> one minute that I've been sitting here, he points out Oratora, probably didn't happen. Montreal, and now, who else did you say? I missed it. Fuchs Mizrahi. Did Fuchs Mizrahi drive or did they fly? That's what we need to know. There's no more. Everyone else, either we know flew or we know they drove. Back to action. Berman up by four, each team with a bucket since the last time we queued you in. Oh, big boy move, doesn't get it to go. That's uh, that's True Hawk. Now they get the bucket, and it's a two point game. As the first quarter winds down, 30 seconds to go. The Ramaz Rams, I can attest, they drove. They drove today. That is that I'm positive about. 20 seconds remaining in this first period. Berman, two point lead. The hold for one, interesting to see what they get up here. So. They go to August in the corner. Nope. No, they but they, they find go. the man in the corner. Six seconds to go. Pull up on the baseline. And it goes down for Ariel Hassan. And the time will run out. MT doesn't get a shot off. Berman up by four as we send it to commercial break. Welcome back into the Max Learn Athletic Center. Yoshua Siegel, Marvin Azrak. A party here. Last game of Sunday night. Berman up by four. I mean, it has been all that we expected. Come now, get a seat for the second half before they run out. Second quarter, really. Rather. I'm saying, but they have eight minutes to get here before halftime. <laughs> they get soaking all the Sarajak you want. Wing three, and it's good for Novi Troy. Troy puts some joy on those fan, on those Berman fans' faces. Gives his team gives the team a seven point lead. We uh, like to shout out all the people back at home in Berman County watching this one. Yeah, they are they are blowing up social media, Berman. <laughs> Maybe a timeout, not a timeout. We do have a timeout. All right. A technical foul. <laughs> it's a technical foul, not a timeout. Couldn't tell what the ref was signaling over there. But uh, regardless, at the end of the day, it'll be Minzer at the line for the Cougars, who misses the first, looking to make the second. Yeah, for Berman, this is one of the things that you would have liked. Out again. You would have liked to see Berman do do better last night from uh, the charity strike. That was one of the things that cost them is they collapsed in that fourth quarter against uh, DRS and fell out of uh, tier two uh, quarters and into consolation. Wing three. He thought about it. Now gives it up. Almost taken it away by the Lions. But now Berman retains control. Margulies. Bigs back to the corner, brings a three on one. Allen pass, wing three. No good, but another offensive board. That's been the story of the early first half. 
The Furman cleaning up the glass. Yep, the Furman boards are out today. And now a three is trying, but Margulies no good, but what do you know? It's another offensive board for the Cougars. Margulies this time drives, takes, strong take off rim, and Barron corrals it in. Elishayev thinking about his next move, goes up top, swing for Barron. Elishayev corner, that's true, excuse me, that's Wolf. Now the strong drive doesn't go for Seinfeld. Now Berman's got it. The they shot. Look to run. Shockingly, MTA can't even can't clean up the glass on either side. A lot of good spacing for the Cougars. Troy thought about it. Another drive. Looks like he might have taken a couple extra steps. No call. Goes back to the corner. Margulies corner pocket off the mark. MTA controls. Downstairs looked like a foul. And it will be as Truhoff heads the line to shoot a pair. So this is uh, MTA, a good opportunity to, I think, sort of stop the bleeding. I mean, maybe, and, and stop the bourbon momentum. Right now, they're struggling to do anything at even strength. So here they are with some free. Uh, but some free points, opportunities, opportunities for some free points. Yeah, but one goes by the first, wayside though. there, yeah. Got to take advantage. Ah. Bit of a clarification on that technical foul before. We had a uh, some foul language used by player NTA, not uh, directed at anyone else other than in conversation with the teammate, but that is on sportsmanlike conduct and he got called for a technical. 18, 12, 5, 20 to play. Barron thought about it. Pump fake now pulls it down. Sure, what do you think of that? Would you call that a technical? Or Listen, if there are rules, there are rules. Indeed. Downstairs, nice feed, but Shmuel couldn't finish it as the Cougars look to push. Sassin, excuse me, Troy. Gives for Minzer. Up to August here. Now it's August. What could August do? Saw he had a nice game last night, but now it's Troy long triple off the mark. It was deflected. Yeah, he took about a nice game last night. It was a tale of two halves for Alex August. Small three of his own. No good. Looked like a foul, and yes, it is. As Truhoff back to the line trying to add. Uh, a couple he, digits. As he goes back to the line, continuing what happened with August here, he had a, it was a tail two half for him. First half, he was able to subdue the uh, hostile DRS fans that were, uh, had a creative chant of July is better than August. And, uh, he ooh, could, ooh, could, he did, uh, at least it got points for creativity, I'll tell you that I much. Do. I do, I, I was there and I loved it from them. It was great creativity. and But he quickly quieted them with an 18 point garage in the first half. Second half, the, the Wildcats adjusted. They silenced him and were able to rally and uh, take that one. And you'll see them tomorrow in the uh, Tier 2 Championship right there. True off, able to cut the lead after. to four. And a miss by August, and now MTA looking to uh, cut this lead even further. Cut into this lead even further, rather. Barron. Downstairs, nice find for Shmuel. Thought he'd just go right back up, and now it's Barron again. Wing, long three, and it's good, it goes down! For Daniel Barron. Yeah, well. 18 17, blink of an eye. Oh, big Euro step. But Rosemary can't get it to go. Side out underneath for the Berman Cougars. Yeah, Barron's, a sharp, Barron's a good shooter. We've seen that, see that coming in here. And he's proven it in the second, in the second quarter. August, top of the key, three off the mark. Corralled in by Truhoft. MTA with a chance to take their first lead in the game. I believe so as Barron gives for El Shaev. Now it's Walk. Walk behind the back. Shakes his defender loose. Thought about the pull-up. Nice corner five for Truhoft. The long three. Rims out. Rebounded by Lichtman. 
Lichtman, nice find. And a smooth bucket from Naftali Fischler. Ah, uh, that's awesome. He fished him out there on the right. Nice, what nice. Get him some sushi, you know what I'm saying? Indeed. August oh! coming up with it. Baron swipes August as he goes up. August goes to the line. He, and the, 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 if you're a Burman, this is great news. I mean, August hasn't made, an, made much, of an, much of an impact yet on the score sheet. And you have 20 points and are winning as he used to face off. I'll tell you, an aesthetically pleasing matchup tonight. Both nice, uh, nice colors, nice jerseys. MPA known, at least in recent years, for their um, for their outfits, jerseys as one may call them, especially their home ones. Their home whites have been a uh, become a true classic. And Berman, uh, a nice uh, complement of orange, really, uh, really pleasing to the eye here late Sunday night. If you will, it kind of matches the the colors uh, color scheme of this tournament, which is orange. Yeah, I haven't thought about that. We should do a quick study of how many teams own which colors. <laughs> you can imagine blue's probably the most popular, but you never know. I'm assuming off the top of my head, you have Ramaz, you have TBC, you have a whole bunch of yellow slash gold, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's some interesting ones as Berman takes it away, and they're running. Off to the races, four on three, goes to the corner. Doesn't take it, top of the key, that's Janice. Gives off for Fischler. Top of the key again, lots of passing as Rosemary pulls the trigger. Oh, died on the rim and falls out. As MTA looks to push. Fancy dribbling over there by Elisayev. Two minutes to play in this first half. Please stay tuned. Step it up, halftime show. Coming up at the half is Danielle Barron drains the three. And it's a two-point Berman lead. August, strong drive. Thought he should have went up with it, but Fischler, spin move, doesn't go. And T.A. corrals it in. A chance to tie. And oh boy, is this getting interesting. Going in strong and no good as Schmuel throws it up a little too hard. Berman look at the push. Big take, and that's August able to convert the deuce underneath. Yeah, that's a great job by August there. He, it's a big bucket for him, a big bucket for his team. Berman has a trap, thought he walked. Berman takes it away. Fischler, corner, Down August. The corner. Seven point lead, no it won't be. Still four points, but offensive board, August gets it back. It's a good follow up, that's a great follow up. He didn't give up on the fact that he missed a wide open corner three that he had all day to shoot. He, he misses, but he's still aware of coming, and uh, he's able to finish low and restore Berman's lead to six. We'll send you to a quick commercial break. And welcome back into the Maxson Athletic Center. Berman up by six, 1.15 to go in the first half. For a chance, for a chance, for an opportunity to play in the fifth place game. That's where we stand late on this Sunday night. It is past my bedtime, let me just put that out there. Turnover, Cougar ball. We just came back off, uh, before I went to break, I just came uh, off a great bucket there by, uh, by August. With him keeping his head up after missing a three. That's a great lesson for all you basketball, basketball players watching. Young Top kids of the watching. key doesn't go down. Oh, keep your head up because even if you miss a shot, you, know, you may get another one a couple seconds later. Zerovskin, hard drive, but Berman takes it away once again. I feel like I'm a broken record. August, scoop layup, and it goes. Scoop, there it is. Indeed, that's one thing about this sophomore sensation. He's always moving. You'll never see him stacking. Zerotskin seeing his first run here. 
30 seconds to play in this first half. Berman by eight. MTA has clawed back in it time and time again. Can't do so there as Elishayev misses the triple. A nice cutting look from the Cougars. Goes back underneath and put home by Asher Sassen. 10 seconds to play, Berman by 10. Here in the first half, the clock winds down. 6-5, 4-3, Elishayev, what's he gonna do? He throws it up, long three. Too strong, and that will end the half. Berman up by 10. Stay tuned. Step it up halftime show coming up, and of course, second half action. Don't miss it right here on Max Live. And I fell in love with basketball when I was 12 years old. Well, let me take you back to the beginning of Step It Up. A kid with hoop dreams. In seventh grade, played middle school ball, played high school ball. I wanted to be a Division I player. My friends were cynical about it. My teacher at school, my head of school, the dream became a reality. And as a little kid from Boca Raton, Florida, I ended up finding myself in Madison Square Garden. That only fueled more and more, and the dream became bigger. I transferred to Brandeis University in Boston, where I played two more years, before moving to Israel, playing a year of pro ball. And at 25 years old, two years later, I started stepping up. At the time, a basketball private training company. Remember the first session I ran, I was driving home and I just had goosebumps. I felt something. I said, this is it. And from that private training session, we grew more private trainings in a day camp where kids got better in a five-day program. So I said to myself, if kids are getting better in an hour and getting better in a week, let's start a sleepaway camp. Let's take them for six to eight weeks. It can make a real shift in their mind, a shift in their soul and their perspective. And that's what we did. I sit here with you 12 years later in 2023. We started with one kid in 2009. This summer, we're fortunate enough to host over 430 campers from 20 states and 10 countries. When I first started Step It Up, the intention was to run a high-end skill development camp. Little did I know, it would evolve into a life skills camp disguised as a basketball camp whose core principles are the same principles that I not only grew up on, but still live by to this day. Open heart, open mind. If you come in with the right attitude and you open your heart and mind, we can make tremendous progress. Attention to detail on the court and off. Live passionately, because what else is there? The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it all the way. Action above all. Don't talk about it, be about it. Experiences over materialism. It lasts much longer and it's more real. Good breeds good. Be good to yourself and be good to one another. Game speed, game life. We train with a focus and intensity on the court, which turns practice into a game and the game into a practice. We work hard, we play hard, we step it up. These principles are beyond basketball. We use basketball as a vehicle for growth and success. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. Countless number of middle school and high school MVPs. Over 60 college players, division one, two, and three. Professional players, national team players, a EuroLeague Rookie of the Year, an NBA draft pick, and over 5,000 families, all of whom have stepped it up. We have a love for the game, timeless principles that guide us, a state-of-the-art campus, engaged coaches. We have the results. The choice is simple. It's time to 
ステップだ。Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center. Our halftime show is brought to you by Camp Step It Up, located in upstate New York. With busing provided to and from camp, Camp Step It Up is the most proven Shomer Shabbat basketball camp in the world, featuring 33 current Sarachek players and over 400 past Sarachek players, as well as YU and certain college stars over the past 12 years. These programs are boys and girls, grades four through 12 including one to seven week options in both the U.S. and Israel. There are three minyanim a day, learning groups, and a camp rabbi. Past campers include many Yeshiva League MVPs, over 60 college players, and an NBA draft pick. Additionally, some players are in this game. Camp Step It Up campers, including from Berman, Gabriel Margulies, 55 years at Camp Step It Up, Alex August, third year, Eitan Janis, Noe Troy, and Itai Rosemary. And from MTA, we got Aaron Gotel, Aaron Sable, and Mikey Eli Shaev. Make sure to check out Camp Step It Up. Marvin, what a entertaining first half. Give me some thoughts, lay them on me. Uh, Bello, about the first half, yeah, definitely, uh, not, def it was definitely a slugfest here. Uh, 30 to 20, not, it's not what you typically see. A slugfest? Uh, That's a great <laughs> word. That's a great word. <laughs> Not what you typically see out of these. We got a definition? Teams. We got a definition? Of a slugfest? Oh, a slugfest. I didn't hear what okay, you said. My no bad. Problem. Uh, Sorry about that. And as we start in the second half, I'm looking for sort of MTA. I know they love to sort of play zone defensively, but I'm looking for them to get a little more aggressive defensively um, and sort of sort of stop Berman. And I think in their, in their tracks a little bit, slow them down. And then offensively, they love to go inside out. And uh, I think they're going to try and continue to do that. What I would just say is, Maybe is a no, Maybe they could just crash the glass. That's what they got to do. Crash the glass. Extend possessions. They were dominated on both ends by Berman in that first half. And, uh, deservedly so. The Cougars are leading this one, looking to notch their first win here at Sarajek. On the Berman side, just keep crashing the glass and uh, just just execute. That's been, that, that's what they've left some points on the board. Maybe to extend the lead even further. And then look for so. so yeah, let's see how that hope, strategy pays yeah, off. The hope for them is here to, or hope for them here is to just tighten up on those, on those areas and not give MTA much to work with here. Akiva you know, Poppers has made his way back into the booth. He was, I'll tell you, listen, we tried cutting to it. He made five half court shots in a row, <laughs> in a row without missing. It was a sight to see. The gym was popping. It was popping for Poppers. Anyway, third and 20, Berman leads last game, last game of the evening. And the question is, what time will this gym empty out tonight? I'm guessing about 11, so definitely some cleanup to do. But, uh, you know, things are moving, things are moving. Always a really, really nice atmosphere, a great weekend here. As we get things set for second half Ooh. basketball. Uh, Poppers is conversing with his best friend, the referee. Now we got... Right now, right at the start, second half play as August inbounds in it. And here we go, second half action underway. Cougars, Margulies pulls a three. Excuse me, that was not Margulies. That was Rose Barron pulled a three, but after a bunch of misses, Livyaden puts the first two points of the second half up for the Berman Cougars. Barron, wing, three, bottom. Man, he's he's hey, uh, he's had so many hit butter. Man, I love some Baron butter. After this, with, after this one with the performance he's putting on from deep. Four threes for Daniel Baron as the corner, the answer as Levitin says, "Hey, I could do that too." Taken away again. Oh my goodness! 
steal after steal for this Berman, for these Berman Cougars. And more important, and, and also board after board. And continuing to yeah, they're beat pouring these guys on. down low. Big boy and play, that was Truhoff who can't follow his own miss. And now Margulies looks to run, outlet pass. August pulls up for three and he finds it. Berman has opened this thing up. They're up by 15. Timeout, MTA Lions. Lake Como Pizza. Let me tell you a little about Lake Como Pizza. First of all, one of my favorite personal pizza shops brings me back to my time at the amazing Yeshiva University. But come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even awesome breakfast options. We will be streaming the games in the store, making it a great place to watch the games while you eat. You hear that? Now, let me let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Tomorrow, after a couple of amazing games, you're going to go, ooh, it's lunchtime. I'm a little hungry. So you're going to say, mm, should I go to Golan? Should I go to Burgers and Grill? Maybe Chop Chop? And you go, huh, you know what? I'm going to go to Como. Why am I going to go to Como? This way I can grab some lunch and not miss out on any of the action from yeah, well. Saracek 2020. If I were to give a recommendation for what you should have lunch, it would I would prefer, preferably have it and eat and be done eating uh, by around 140, 145, so you can come and get your seat. For what did you two. say? You wanted me to give you a couple of recommendations from Lake Como? No problem. Let me do that. <laughs> Lake Como Pizza, two great wrecks. First of all, their breakfast bagels, their egg and cheese breakfast bagel, underrated. Make it known, underrated. Second of all, they have one option there I've not seen anyone else. They have a Pariv chili. Anyone know about the power of chili? Raise your hands. No one. Oh, yes. We have someone in the booth who knows about the power of chili. It is excellent. Go try it. Tell them the people at Max Live sent you. Taken away by the Cougars. Nope. Now stolen back by the MTA Lions. Baron inside. That's Truhoft. Floater one hand, and Truhoft finds it. 13. Down by 13 are the Lions as the Cougars look to answer. Back to your coma point, I would recommend getting lunch early here. We got as we got the two p.m. as we got two p.m. We got the uh, tier one final between Maggie, David, and uh, Eula. Strong. Uh, so you're get lunch. Get it early. Yeah, get lunch. Don't bring it to the gym. No food allowed. But make it back in time to eat. And, you know, talking about restaurants, let me give you one more. Chopsticks, New Jersey. Wow, Chinese food for the ages. Let me tell you a little bit. First of all, we want to thank them for being a proud sponsor of Max Life. First of all, as long as I can remember, they've always been around. But check out Chopsticks and Teaneck for the best Chinese food around. You've got to go to Chopsticks. Head to ChopsticksUSA.com to order online. The link is in the description of this video as Shmuley Leviden gives the Cougars a 15-point cushion. Oh, another steal. It is steal after steal after steal. Definitely over one of the Ten Commandments. If I would say so myself, my God, that was a bad joke. They can't get Burke, goes to the corner. And the three does not go down for Leviathan. Baron, what will he do? Using that left hand and almost taken away, pocket almost picked by Berman. All Saturday Check games which are played at Houston University will be broadcasted on MaxLive.com and MaxLive YouTube channel. Subscribe to MaxLive to not miss out on any of the action. Turn on those notifications and don't miss a single Max Live broadcast as it stays here with the MTA Lions. Oh, this has been, yeah, this has been a wild day for everyone involved with uh, Max Live. A wild weekend, a lot of sleepless nights for a few, sleepless, a few sleepless nights for a lot of people, myself included. Yeah, Marvin, how many, let's, uh, let's get into it. How many hours have you slept the last couple nights? So we got a shot clock violation, perfect segue. And turning, speaking about running ahead of time, tell me about that nighttime schedule of yours. Uh, it's been rough. It's been rough to get any Give me sleep. some hours, give me some hours. Oof. Uh, well, I will say this, I am very thankful that we had a Shabbat in between all of this so I could get a lot of rest. Uh, but before that, it was pulling, it was close to all-nighters, tell you that. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, the unbelievable work of the Max Live crew. Taking away a steal on MTA's end, will the Lions be able to cut in to this Cougar lead? Goes top of the key, Baron almost taken away by the Cougars. 
Barron, swing pass, and now it's taken away. Berman and looking to August. push. Wide open is August, the easy finish. I love that play from August, and you can see he, he went for that steal initially, and then it didn't get it, but trusted it, anticipated the anticipated one by uh, his teammate, and then once that happened, he I'll was well you, out of the pack. I like August's game. The guy's <laughs> always in the right spot at the right time. He runs out on breaks. He finds the right lane, finds those cutters. He's done an excellent job building the 16-point Berman advantage. And the best, the best part about him, he's only a sophomore. Unbelievable. Can you imagine what he's going to do the next couple of years here? Oh, my goodness. Put, start putting him in the record books. Cross out some of those names. Make some space for Alex August. Indeed. He, can, he shines in all 12 months of the year. Nice, nice. I was trying to think of one myself. You beat me to it. I like it. Wouldn't it be cool? They should give us birthdays on here. <laughs> and another shot clock violation from the Lions. Again, as we always talk about the Yeshiva League versus outside of the Yeshiva League, the local teams struggle a lot with the shot clock as they do not play with it during the regular season. And that's why it's important, if you can, to get into tournaments so you're able to get used to this for the Saracic tournament. MTA has been kind to many tournaments. So you're seeing it, right? You're seeing the results of that here against a Berman team that loves to speed things up, considering that they used to be they used to playing with a shot clock. Rose Marin off the mark. Lions trying just to get something going here underneath. One foot Dirk Nowitzki like for Sable. Can't get it to go all over the floor. Nice hustle play from Truhoff, and the ball will remain with MTA. You know, talking about, uh, we were talking about the YU Max support. Anyone see Ryan Terrell the other night? 34 points, 34 points. Go check out those highlights. I mean, pretty uh, pretty impressive stuff if I say so, if I will say so myself. Indeed, yeah. I mean, he's been, he's been doing big things down there in the G League for more. Big man, Truhoff, coast to coast. I was, gonna, so I was talking about Terrell putting, uh, doing big things for the Motor City Cruiser right there. You see uh, an example of a kid putting on a motor and getting to the hoop. Nice, nice. Top of the key, three, August smooth, but off the mark. But uh, what do we say? Call me a broken record, an offensive rebound for the Cougar is rims out, and that's Truhoff who pulls it down. Elisayev, wing, three, too strong. But Farman, strong offensive board. Bear in the long three, he connects! Baron Mutter. Oh, yeah. His fifth three, Daniil Barron, give him five from three-point territory. That's earning him a ticket to Splashtown. Incredible stuff from Barron, single-handedly keeping MTA in this contest. 11-point game, that's a walk, yes it is. Called off and going the other way, can MTA take advantage? And they you know, well, they, well they, they know who to give it to. If I'm on these Lions, I'm probably changing up my game plan, making him the go-to guy. Making Baron the go-to guy. Ride the hot hand. You need that to cut it to single digits and establish some momentum in this game. Walk loses possession, but out of bounds off of Berman. MTA ball. And you can see they're finding him already. But instead... Another Berman steal. And had a great pass there. He tried to beat it down low. Nobody was home. I'll tell you, MTA Coach Sullivan is going to have a word with his team after tonight. Because, oh boy, is it getting ugly. Corner goes. Ring around the rosy. A pocket full of posy. Top of the key. It's Farman. Excuse me, it's Janice. Well, you'll show before he has a word with his team after tonight. He'll have a word with his team in about a minute and 33 seconds. Hassan could have squeezed into title bound, but off of MTA. What I imagine I'll tell him is that, well, they're, they're, what I imagine I'll tell him is they're right there. And they, they are. I mean, the 11 steals for the Cougars. Nice play underneath as Ariel Hassan rattles at home. Long outlet pass, nice play, going up, he's fouled. That's Colby Walk. And as Walk walks to the free throw line, this is 
and then take some, take some deep breaths. He under, he's got to understand what the great opportunity he has to just say keep MTA competitive in this contest because if they're able to cut this to single digits, that's gonna be the goal here in the next minute and 18. Get this get this deficit within single digits coming into the fourth quarter, and then go from there. Yeah, for sure, 118 to play in this third quarter, and it's a 11-point game. It's manageable. Can MTA get the defensive stop they so desperately need? Berman, ooh, thought maybe a walk. MTA wanted it. They won't get it. Title bound, strong drive. Almost throws it out of bounds, saved by Hassan. Strong take, outlet. It's Troy. Troy, middle of the lane. Oh. Turned off with a magic if you're Berman, you hold for one here. You don't want to take any chances. You understand that MTA is clawing their way back into this, into this game. Yeah, you want to try to uh, make this a double-digit advantage going into the fourth quarter here. Let's see if they do that. Troy, nifty move underneath. Six seconds, MTA will have a chance. As they push, it's walk. Three seconds. To the corner it goes. Three-pointer for Sarazzi and off the mark. And that's how this third quarter will end. Berman with a nine-point lead as we send it to a commercial break. What happens on a typical day at RTB? You show up and you hear an awesome schmooze for 30 minutes by Rabbi Avi Rosalimsky and Ryan Terrell about the Jewish topic related to basketball. After that, you come into the gym for three hours of skill-focused training. Each hour is 55 minutes of training and then a five-minute break. Within the hour, we focus on one specific area of your game, and over the course of five days, we touch on all areas. To cap off the day, you have one league game, and then you go home after an awesome day at RTB. Thousands worldwide choose Israel for their gap year. Massah has opportunities for interning, studying, volunteering, and exploring throughout the country. Doing an internship on gap year, I learned all these skills that no kid who hasn't gone to uni is supposed to know yet. My experience at Massah learning about Judaism and Israel is going to help me take those values into my future, into college, and then bring them into the rest of my life. Now, more than ever, this is your time to explore Israel, explore who you are on your Massah gap year. Year. And welcome back into the Max Stern Athletic Center. Yoshua Siegel alongside Marvin Azrak. You know, there are a few things in this world that are bigger than basketball, but I need to ask a special favor of everyone watching this game. Go to the description of this YouTube video and click on the OU link. Complete the form to send a letter to President Biden. We need to put pressure on the White House to intervene in the hostage situation. The OU will be delivering 180,000 letters to the White House on Wednesday of this week. Click the link in the description of this video and fill out the form. Thank you very much. Start the fourth quarter. The question is, who's going to land the first punch? Yes, Berman leads by nine, but MTA towards the end of the third quarter was, was able to cut this deficit, they were able to cut this deficit into single digits. So. And I'll tell you, there's been a lot of scoring in bunches. It's been a bunch of little runs, six-point runs, seven-point lead. Back and forth they go. It was as big as 15. Now it's nine. And Alex August, that would have helped Berman. But MTA, a big chance here to crawl right back in this one. Zeratskin inside. Truhoff, big take. Oh, can't roll it in. The home court bounce doesn't go. As Margulies strong take, no good. As Wall comes away with it, and he walks it down the floor. Goes to Barron. Barron thinks about the three, takes baseline, and poked away. Another steal, make it 12 steals for the Berman Cougars. And five for Teitelbaum, I believe. We no good there. Rebound, yeah. We no good in that rebound by MTA. Another opportunity. Can they? Finally take advantage of these chances that Berman have been giving them by not knocking down their shots on the other end and Del executing in transition despite their um, treasure trove of steals. Oh, what a save by Sarotsky to Truhoff! Capitalizes, what a play! Added to the highlight reel. You know, when one shining moment comes out late tomorrow night, you'll see that play, that save by yeah. Tzvi Sarotsky. We, yeah. Indeed, we've got a, that's probably coming in terms of uh, 
Please in the day, that's, that's right up there. That's next to the buzzer meter. Um, MTA takes it away again. There's a buzzer, if you want it, if you want two to wear the sh one shining moment, please, from today you have the uh, buzzer meter by Brent Freeland and then that. See. All air on the, free, on the three from El Shaev. You want to hear a crazy stat line? Josh Truhoff has 16 points and 17 rebounds. I mean, my goodness. He's going to, you got to frame the jury. Give him the game ball. Win or lose. Oh, that's a great move there. Oh, that was beautiful. That's Switching beautiful. hands. Nifty underneath. Back to a nine point game, five and a half to play in the ball game. Bourbon back to their press. And I'll tell you some tears in the eyes of the fans who have been here all day as they know Sunday of Saracek. Some people say it's their favorite day, even over Championship Monday. Semi-final Sunday has hold a special place in many people's heart. As you see the tears streaming down their face as Berman looking to run away with it. They go up back by 11. Five minutes to play. Coach Sullivan needs a timeout. And we'll send it right after a quick replay. As you see Sirotskin. And here it comes. It's a great steal. Another takeaway. Great, great anticipation getting ahead of, the, of everyone else. And a great lay in there to put the Cougars up. 11 back up double digits, which is exactly what they needed to stall the momentum. We're um, going to keep it right lines. here. You know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about another great food option. We love food here at Max Live. They love us. And let's talk about Dougie's. We would love to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best barbecue and grill in Teaneck, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBarbecue.com to order. The link is in the description of this video. Not only that, let me tell you another thing. Dougie's brought dinner for us tonight. And let me tell you, the burgers, wow, fries, wow, I am full. I, it is 10 o'clock, and I am still full. I think I ate four hours ago. Uh, but you know what they also serve at Dougie's? They sell poppers, like our very own Akiva Poppers, who has done an amazing job. And rumor has it, I'm getting, uh, yeah, Justin, rumor has it, Akiva Poppers ate poppers for dinner from Dougie's. Not true. There are a lot of poppers. I think we need to get poppers himself. Oh, uh, there were poppers, no. but Akiva Poppers didn't eat them. Okay. But Akiva Poppers was 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 at the popper stand, so there were double poppers. <laughs> the poppers wasn't eating poppers. I think that's that's what we stand. But anyway, back to action. Berman up by eleven. <laughs> Let's see if Daniel Barron in the MTA lines. Now another steal. I, I I've lost count. The Berman Cougars, a defensive masterclass. And staying here with the Cougars. Yeah, you can tell how much they, they wanted this victory. They wanted to. Yeah. They, have, they want an opportunity. The winner will play Ramaz tomorrow. That game will take place at TABC. I will actually be in Ramaz tomorrow. How do you like that? I do. So I'll be missing our students as they play in TABC, taking on what looks like most likely the Burma Cougars, a chance the MTA Lions. But we'll be keeping a close eye on that fifth place game. You know, fifth place, it's a decent place for Sarajek. Uh, yeah, it is. A lot of talented teams. It's Daniel Barron brings MTA right back in it. It is eight, his sixth three-pointer, Daniel Barron. Doing his best Steph Curry ah. impersonation. Again, that's more barren butter for the folks back home. I love it there from Barron. And what I would look if what I would look to do again, if I were these Lions, get him the ball with space by uh, uh, in, uh, on the wing more often down the stretch. Because you can he's he's the only consistent scorer right now for you. Daniel Barron, six of seven from three. Those are uh, those are video game-like numbers, and oh, another steal by the Cougars. And oh boy, step back three in the face, no good, as Rosemarin can't find the net. Barron gives down, for walk. Take yeah, that's a mistake. They're, they're, they're trying to force it inside the paint. It's not working. And it's feeding right into the Berber transition game, and there's another example of them capitalizing. Yeah, Janice makes him pay, puts the Cougars back up by 10 as Walk. 
draws a foul, the first team foul in this first quarter. Rumor has it the refs want to get to sleep. Heard that during the, uh, the previous game. I do not blame them. We have another early day tomorrow. After the game ends, be sure to stay tuned for the Yachad post game show as we will be interviewing our stars of the game. Do not miss it. We thank Yachad for sponsoring our halftime show. And we thank everyone who makes Max Live possible. Yeah, I'm very, I've been very privileged today to, be, to have called three games. Uh, Two prior ones with uh, Ari Katz. We uh, called my Marley Shalhevet and then uh, Cooper Kushner, which uh, went viral on social media with the, the buzzer beater. By, Three uh, quick fouls from the Berman Cougars. Though the Berman Cougars, I no criti no criticism on the defensive end. 17 steals for Berman. Trying to take a couple of basketballs back with them to Silver Spring or Baltimore. I believe it's Silver Spring. As maybe delay a game. MTA asked him a technical coach Sullivan telling him to calm down. But also important to keep an eye on. Josh Truhoff came down, came down limping on that play. He's uh, he's hobbling on that uh, on that ankle. Four fouls, four fouls, and I think 20 seconds or so. And three goes down for Josh Trulhoff on the bummed ankle. My goodness, it's a seven point contest. He's got 19 and 18. What ankle injury, huh? Shakes it off right away and cans a three. Nice Jeez. answer. I believe that was Rose Bear. A nine point game. Can MTA, does MTA have one last rally in their bones? They do, they gotta break the press and then spread it around. See if you can maybe find Baron in the corner again. He has the hot hand on this team. Oh, and there he is! Josh Truhoff, a game for the ages. 22 points, 18 rebounds, and it's a six point. Berman Cougar lead. Unbelievable. Anyway, Sarajek, I'll tell you, with that being said, Sarajek has arrived. Max Live is your home for the tournament. Watch games, news stats, and more at MaxLive.com. M-A-C-S-L-I-V-E.com. MaxLive.com, your home for the red Sarajek tournament. Well, have we ever, end, we, we have, it's rare here that we end, that we do interview uh, players on the losing side. Yeah, listen, we may have no choice. We here. may have no choice but to interview Josh, even if he... Yeah, if uh, MTA cannot come back here, because what a performance he is putting on for these lines, Put, putting him on his back, along with the sharpshooting of Baron. Yeah, just a quick correction. That was not a Josh Truff three. He's at 19 and 18. Could he get that 2020 game? That is the question. Has it happened yet? This Sarah check. I don't. Checking think so. with our stack crew. It has not. We may be witnessing history. Uh, we already had, that would, be, that, that would be awesome to witness history, the last game of Sunday night. Of Sarah Check Sunday. Strong take, does not, nothing going. Ring around the rosy, goes back to the corner. It's Margulies left hand take, and he finds himself wide open, back up by eight. Huge bucket by Margulies. Now, Raymond will look to get a stop here. Oh, that's true off. Oh, and he connects! Make it a 22 point game for Josh Truhoff! Oh, Holy a, moly! He's a bad man. Five point game. Berman, do they have an answer? And no, they want to talk things over because this they is are, a close oh, one. Yeah, they are. They are being true off right now. They are indeed being true off on the down the stretch. First it was Baron. They were they lived with that. Now when you add true off into the mix, 
considering he's now getting hot from deep and already what he's been doing in the paint tonight. It's cause for concern on the Cougar side. Cause Sun for concern and understatement. <laughs> Listen, we would like to thank all of our sponsors as we mentioned before, but if you would like to become a Max Live sponsor, email us at yumaxlive at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram or on Twitter. How do you like that? You could have your name, your company, your organization. Honestly, you could just be a personal sponsor. If you want you to be shouted out, come sponsor Max Live, maxlive.com. Don't miss out on any of the action. Yeah. What a game we have here, Marvin. Oh. 146 to play. Berman by five, an opportunity to play in the fifth place game. Berman with 53 points, lots of fives flying all over the place. Oh, MTA almost comes away with the steal. 10 on the shot clock. What will Berman do? Fischler thinks about it. Five on the shot clock, strong drive. That's Rosemary and no, Aftali Fischler, the finish, seven point game. But you know this the game's not over. You know why? Because MTA has someone named Josh Truha, who's got 22 and a 22 points, 18 rebounds. Will they find him? Also, they also, are, they also are barren if they want them. Another option they can go to. This is uh, great. You got two options down the stretch here. The Baron, they 6 of 7 them. from the Baron, the pull up. Jimmy does not go down as Berman now comes down it. with now it. Now they got it now. Under a minute to play. There we go. Yep. MTA looks like they might come up just a little short. A disappointing way for the home team to wrap up their game on their own home court in front of a dedicated home fan base. Yeah, we'll see. That, uh, that's, that's a great way to put it. This is the final home game of the uh, season for MTA. So for some of these seniors, it's the final game ever. Listen, Josh Truhoff, the junior, we'll see him back here. But for so many of these players, Daniel Barron will be his last time grazing the Max Stern Athletic Center gym floor, and that's... Uh, that's got to be emotional. Yeah, it is, and it's another. It just adds extra motivation to entering this game to go out there and win it. And Marvin, win. you play in high school? Uh, basketball, no. What do you play? What do you play? Uh, hockey. And how about that last game as a senior? How was that for you? You can only imagine what these players uh, went through on the floor. I remember that. Yeah, that was that was that was emotional. I hear that. Listen, I was a I was a manager in high school. I managed the hockey team, and I remember. We know I ended my senior year carrying a trophy off the floor, so it was okay. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's uh, it was quite the experience, and you know I can only imagine what the players go through, let alone the manager. I really, I at least know what the manager goes through, but let alone the players it would be the proper way of saying it. Anyway, seven indeed, point. Uh, game. Just uh, speaking of hockey, I mean it's been been fortunate that this year Wayu brought a club hockey team here. Yeah, what is? Are you on the roller hockey team? I'm, uh, I'm on the ice hockey team. Oh, the ice hockey team, yeah. awesome. Another foul, you know what the big problem is here, MTA needs to get three more fouls just to put them on the free throw line. So uh, it'll take some more time off the clock and if Bird wants to run around a little bit, they can milk this thing a little bit. Just add one last And that's thing. what yeah, they yeah, do, gonna... wide open! It's Sammy Margulies who gets trapped and taken away, but they're gonna get a foul. He's hurt, he's down, Oof. hope he's okay. He took a shot to the he head. Did. He'll take a minute to catch his breath. I think he'll be... Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully that's all it is. Just yeah, he hit the floor. We hope he's all right. Three MTA Lion defenders surrounded him, and someone who jawed for the ball took a swipe at his face, and we just hope he's okay. He's getting up. Gets a, like. Sammy Margulies gets a big hand from the crowd. The 5'6 senior. Perhaps playing his last uh, minutes here, at least on the main court at Sarajek, as he'll take a seat on the bench. He looks to be all right. Three fouls on the MTA Lions. And boy, they are extending this at the yawns. I see the yawns on the faces of the people in this gym. As uh, foul number four comes in the next one, we'll put them at the charity stripe. Chance to ice this game and notch their first victory at this year's Sarachek tournament. It's very good Cougars and they earned it. They've been fighting hard in the past couple days. Gave TABC a little bit of a run. 
There is foul number five as Asher Sassen will head to the free throw yeah, line, a senior. Yep, this is it. That's why I see these guys on the Berman bench getting up. Yeah, they're they excited. They're excited for their friend as he nails the first one. I want to take this opportunity to give a massive shout out to everyone here at Max Live and specifically the people working on this game, our executive director, Eitan Traurig, executive producer, Zevi Panzer, associate director, David Ravid, awesome name, associate producer, Yosef Silver, camera operators, Tal Dale, Gavi Aspler, Yosef Bluth, and Zachary Srilovich. And our stats, Gila Marcus and Sammy Levitt. Also on stats, Jonathan Thomas, and Morty Ostreicher. Also another shout out uh, should go to uh, the person who helps me run the front end of Max Live, the front end of the Max Live website, and David Sampson. Uh, he's been fantastic. And a huge shout out to, of course, Akiva Poppers and Aaron Traurig. The, uh, the people keep it all together. That's uh, at least what the rumor on the street is. Yeah, Can't confirm or deny. Uh, I can. These guys are the glue to the, are the, are the glue. True glue that keeps everything together. Anyway, it was a real pleasure to be back here, back sitting in the booth. It's been uh, it's been a couple of years. I believe the last game I called here was the Skyline Conference Championship of 20 in 2022. Well, it's, been, it's, an, it's an honor to welcome welcome you back. Appreciate it, an honor to share the booth with the with the legend Marvin Ezra. <laughs> As uh, the final seconds, Berman will dribble it. it out. I Stay it. tuned, post game show, Yachat post game show. An interview with our star of the game. We're alongside Akiva Poppers as the Berman Cougars will have an opportunity tomorrow to play the Ramaz Rams for fifth place here at Saracek as the finer buzzer, buzzer sounds. Stay tuned, post game halftime show. Yachad post game halftime, uh, post game show right after this. We've come a long way, haven't we? Chalk it up to maturity over time. Because this time, we will not be silent. This time, we will stand strong and proud. This time, we will hold our ground. This time, they'll never stop me from being me. Clipped, show who you are. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center. Welcome to the Yachad Post Game Show brought to you by Yachad. The winner has just speed in, excuse me, the Berman Cougars has just taken down the MTA Lions as they clinch a spot in the fifth place game tomorrow. Standing by, looks like with the entire Berman Cougars team, it's Akiva Poppers. All right, I am joined by uh, the entire Berman Cougars. We also got a... Uh, Josh Truoff in the background from MTA, 22 and 18. Uh, how does it feel to compete in this tournament? How much fun is it? Very good and very fun. <laughs> Come on, Gabby. Awesome. De definitely the experience of a lifetime, you know. Just got chat, 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 I love seeing Akiva Poppers. He's my legend. I love him. He's my go. I love the shorts. I love everything. Yeah. yeah. It's a really fun experience, and hopefully we're invited back next year. Yeah. Hopefully we win more than one game next year. You still, have, you still have another game tomorrow. You still have another game tomorrow. Hopefully we win tier one. Tier one. There you go. What's the game plan against Ramaz? What's the plan? Win. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. The game plan is to score more points for them. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alabama, come in, come in. Come Watch out for next March. Next March, we, we here. Again. All right, all right. 
Tell me, even though you didn't come on top tonight, how does it feel to compete in this tournament? How much fun is it? It's great. It's a, it's a dream, you know, to, uh, you know, be in, be in Sarah Check. It's great. I love it. I can't wait to come back next year. There you go. Any shout outs? Anyone watching at home in New York, New Jersey, Maryland? Yeah, shout out my grandmother. It's her 70th birthday. Yeah! yeah. Happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Shout out Papa Huben. Shout out right by Bucksbaum. Shout out my little cousin, Kobe Schwarzenberger. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Hashem. All right, that's it for today. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Akiva Popper. Thank you, Berman. Thank you, MTA. Thank you for a wonderful semifinal Sunday of Sarajek. Tune in live tomorrow morning. Do not miss it. Do not be late. Another jam-packed game for Marvin Azrak, Yoshua Single, the entire crew here at Max Live. We say thank you and have a good night.